Hey, this is James Glass, and I'm here working on my tiny home, and I wanted to show you how you might bond a panel if you needed to, and um, how modern panels usually make this super, super easy. This happens to be an Eaton panel. I'm not sponsored by Eaton. I'm not sponsored by anybody. <laughs> I um, just happen to be using their panels here with their BR breakers because they're they're good, high-quality stuff that's very, very affordable. I also like the, the, um, the Square D Homeline series. Um, and, well, you know, it's all great stuff, but all of it's you all listed and it's all safe. Anyway, how do you bond a panel? So this is a sub panel. It's not bonded. A sub panel has four wire cable coming in. Line one and line two, each 120 volts combined makes 240. The, these are the ungrounded conductors, the grounded conductor, which is a neutral, and then the ground wire. Because this is a sub panel, I want to stress this, the neutral carriage... Uh, the neutral bus bars um, and the ground bar are not bonded. What that means is there's no electrical connection in this panel between either of these neutral returns, the grounded conductor and the ground. Okay, all sub panels are going to have four wire SER cable. Okay, but let's say this was a main panel. Hypothetically, how would you bond it? Well, um, it's pretty easy. Most manufacturers now just include this screw when you buy the panel. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of shooting on my phone here, and that's trying to get that to focus, but it's a green green screw. Here at this lug, by the way, this panel's not, not, not live. Um, here at this lug, which, by the way, has lots of, of dielectrical grease on it for corrosion prevention, you would just screw this uh, included, or you can go buy these separate, included uh, screw from the neutral lug through this little bus bus bar addition and it would bond out the panel because it would touch the metal frame and this touches the metal frame so that's how you do it if you if this was a main panel and i wanted to bond it that's how i would do it i would connect there are other methods of doing it but i really like this method i really really like this method instead of using there are these little other little methods involve a little clip where you have to run a screw off this and over to the panel. But this is so slick and so neat in these Eaton panels. Um, they just include a screw, boom, they include a, a, a lug on the, on, the, on the neutral bus bar. So easy. They make it so easy. Anyway, there you go. That's how you would bond it. Hey, thanks for watching.